arrest and detain IPOP member who refuse to listen. Ohanese ordered soldiers over seats at home order. Ohanese Ndibu worldwide has applauded the Nigerian army for its repudiation in reclaiming safety and unity in the southeast and country at vast. The President General of the Pinnacle Igbo Social Cultural Group, Professor George Obiozo, made the recognition on Wednesday when the General Officer Commanding GOC 82 Division Major General Taurid Lagbaja visited him in his office in Enugu. Obiozo, who communicated pleasure over the GOC's visit to the Ohanese house and said without peace countries cannot grow and without the armed forces we will have more difficulties they are the pillars of the Nigerian unity the Ohanese administrator also characterized the Nigerian army as one of the nicest in Africa. He instructed the several armed troops to maintain their actions toward assuring unity and security across the nation. Responding, Lagbaja interpreted Ohanese Ndibu as a key stakeholder in organizing the affairs within the division's core area of responsibility. The GOC said, Nigerian Army is a tool of the state that helps to guarantee unity, security, and the stable monetary activities. He announced the Army chose to partner with all stakeholders to accomplish its requirements. He applauded the administration of our nation for instructing against the warning by the indigenous people of Biafra to use pressure to execute it intended weekly seat at home order in the zone. Nagbaja assured the citizens of the area of sufficient safety, saying the division would not condone any act and would endanger the prevailing unity in the country. Recall that indigenous people of Biafra threatened to shut down the entire southeastern every Monday to facilitate the release of its leader, Mazin Namdekanu. The group urged all Igbos to sit at home every Monday as a sign of sharing support for Namdekano. The group also threatened to use force to enforce the seat at home. Why Oanese Ndibo, President General Obiozo, ordered the army to do all within their power to stop IPOP as they go on with this seat at home order. <coughs> What are they going to stop? Who are they going to stop? How and when? How possible is that? Is that possible? Hmm. Can you imagine? Here is what I'm talking about. It's what I'm saying. This is one of the things we're talking about. The Omanese in the Igbo, they are the, they are the, they are part of those who conspired with the federal government to arrest Namdekano. I am telling you, because if you watch it very well, every move that the IPOP tried to make to see to the quick release of Martin Namdekano, you will see that Ohanese Ndibo always want to, want to step on that move. They will be against it. Okay, they were the first. The, the, the first thing they did was to issue a warning. When they saw that the warning isn't helping matters, they decided to implore the army. Okay. All right. There is no issue in that anyway. We shall see how tomorrow is going to be, because the people that I know are people with Biafran spirit. And people that, that are very much resolute and fearless, they don't care. They don't care the number of battalion that you are going to deploy. They don't care. They don't want to know you. They don't want to know you. 
You see that? So that is why I am saying it that the Ohanese Indigo are not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. They are only trying to play a two-faced person. Pretending. Pretending to be supporting Nam the Kano by calling on Bari to maintain peace. There is nothing of such with your hands in the ego. You understand? There's nothing of such. Well, nothing can be hidden under the sun. Everything is clear and we can see it. The only advice I will give to the IPOP members is to remain resolute and unshaken because it is normal that threats will come. But what matters is your ability to face to face it you understand Mazinam the Kano is still very much okay where he is but then there is need for his security because people like this Ohanese Indigo I will tell you I will tell you that they can plan they can plan they are with the federal government some of them are federal government tools, just like the person of uh, Uzodima. Uzodima, as a governor of the southeast, is a tool to the to the federal government. Then you talk about Uchemefu, a one-time member of IPOM, and some other people like that. These people of this kind don't want Namdekan to be released because they are afraid that Namdekan is going to take the southeast away from them and make sure that Piafra freedom is actualized. Well, that's the problem anyway. The most important thing is that Piafra freedom is actualized already because um, I don't think anyone is going to stop that. I don't think anyone is going to stop that. I don't think anyone is going to prevent that from coming to pass. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, I haven't said all of that. My dear viewers, I believe in your opinion. I trust in your opinion, I trust in your idea. Deem it fit to come in at least. Let's hear you. Let's observe your opinion. Let's know what you have to say. Whatever it is, please. Deem it fit to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.